Hi everyone. Today I'll talk about chi-square test. So chi-square test is basically works for the ordinal or nominal type of data. So when a researcher has categorical type of data, then he or she can use chi-square test. In chi-square test, both type of variable are more than two variables can be categorical. And frequency table or cross tab is used. in order to compare the observed frequency and expected frequency the purpose basically of chi square is to compare the observed frequency and expected frequency in other words is find the association or relationship between observed frequency and expected frequency and again contingency table is used to summarize the frequency within the level of each variable So here I'll also ta- uh, discuss about the some examples of chi-square. The chi-square test is used to find a relationship between two or more categorical variable. For example, uh, is there a significant association between gender and professional career? A researcher may interested to know whether male are more uh, interested in engineering career or female are more interested in medical career and if you or she want to find the association or relationship between gender and professional career then he or she can use chi square test so again chi square test is used to find relationship between two categorical type data for this test we will compare the observed frequency uh, to the expected frequency so this is a general formula for uh, calculating chi square value or observed value so as you can see simple observed value frequency minus expected frequency square divided by expected frequency and sum of all cell values and later in this video i'll show uh, one example of calculating the chi square value again we use contingency table of frequency table to summarize frequency within level of each variable there are uh, some steps if if you want to conduct a chi square test manually or by hand or you can also use uh, uh, spss or excel in order to calculate statistics in le- in other video i will show how you can calculate chi square in spss but right now i'm as i'm telling you how you can calculate by hand and just to get yourself idea clear how a chi square value is calculated so these are the steps of calculating chi square mega contingency frequency table calculate a marginal totals calculate the expected frequency and this is the formula and then finally calculate the test statistics value so for example if a researcher wants to know the relationship between gender and political party again gender has two categories male and female political parties has two or more categories so in order to find association a researcher may use chi square test Similarly if a researcher interested to know whether teacher's qualification can influence teacher's job satisfaction he or she gather the researcher gather the data teacher qualification master and phil phd three categories and their job satisfactions low medium and high and if he wants to know the association between teacher qualification and teacher experience then he she can use chi square test In chi square test this is the null hypothesis there is no association between the two variables there is no difference between the observed values and expected values so either uh, researcher can write the association between two variable or this way between no difference between the observed values and expected values and alternative on the other end there is a association relationship between two variables This is one of the example we'll do by hand calculation and I will explain how a chi square value is calculated. For example, a researcher wants to know the relationship between gender and diabetes. And he or she collected a data and asked from the 50 males and 50 females. So out of 50 females, 27 had uh, diabetes and f- out of 50 males, 12 male have a diabetes. So the first stage will calculate the frequency which is already given but will make a contingency table. So construct a contingency table. So this is the table I created. So in simply is a 2 by 2 table 2 because 
one variable gender has two categories and the other variable diabetes also have a two categories type either diabetes yes or either diabetes no so this is male female has diabetes does not have diabetes okay so see how many may uh, out of 50 females 27 had diabetes so in this column we'll write 27 if you know 27 has diabetes out of 50, uh, 50 so how many has not diabetes which is 23 because out to 50 was total similarly 12 have diabetes so if 12 have a diabetes out of 50 so how many does not have a diabetes which is 38 so this is a frequency table and then you can make a total of this and two this will give you a marginal total so 12 38 give a 50 27 23 give a 50 and then marginal total at, at row side 12 and 27 39 and 38 23 61 and th in this column we'll write a grand total so grand total is 100 so either you can add these two number or these two number in both cases this will be exactly same so this is actually an absurd frequency the numbers which we collected from the participant using a data collection the next stage is calculate the expected frequency now expected frequency is calculated this is marginal total for first row this is the marginal total for the first column so expected frequency the for this cell is calculated in this way so this is 39 for the first row and this is a 50 for the first column and divided by 100 which is a grand total it will give us the expected frequency for the male who has the diabetes similarly for the female who does who have high diabetes similarly 39 multiply 50 and divided by 100 so for male who does not have a diabetes have 61 multiply 50 divided by 100 where this, this 61 uh, comes from this is 61 and 50 this is 50 and divided by 100 so again for fourth cell 61 multiply 50 divided by 100 this is how we can calculate the expected frequency so if you can see each frequency number each expected frequency is calculated by multiplying the re respective row total by multiply by respected column number divided by grand total so see in all four cell divided 100 divided 100 which is a grand total on the other hand this is 39 multiplied by 50 it comes from this is 39 divided by 50 and similarly in the second 39 divided by 50 in third 61 multiplied by 50 and this is 61 multiplied by 50 this is how you can calculate the expected frequency so after calculating this expected frequency you got this number which is 19.5 so observed frequency 12 which we already calculated so expected frequency 19.5 19.5 30.5 and 30.5 so this is 61 and by the way if you add 12 and 27 it will become 39 if you add expected frequency it will also be a 39 similarly if you add 30.5 30.5 it will be 61 so the total of expected frequency and total of observed frequency should be exactly same if there is some difference then there may be some calculation error so you calculated the observed frequency expected frequency now in order to calculate the chi square value this is the formula observed minus expected square divided by expected so observed observed 12 minus 19.5 square divided by 19.5 so this one cell is here okay similarly 27 27 minus 19.5 divided by 19.5 in again for third column for third value 38 minus 30.5 divided by 30 and by 4 23 minus 30.5 divided by 30 
2.5 and when you square minus it square it divide it it will give you 2.8 2.8 and 1.84 1.84 since in formula this is a sigma sign sigma sign means you have to add all this number once you add all this number it will give you 9.46 so this 9.46 is chi square test statistics value now if you check this value in a critical value in the table of chi square then the conclusion would be made that reject the null hypothesis the reject null hypothesis concluded there is a concluded that there is a relationship between gender and diabetes so if you look back our example in which we ask uh, you are interested to know if there is a relationship between gender and diabetes our chi square test statistics concluded that yes there is a association or relationship between gender and diabetes in other words you can conclude in a simple plain english that gender have an influence in a diabetic disease again this is simple calculation simple example uh, there are some more examples you can where you can use chi square for example if you want to know uh, gender and political affiliation chi square will be used gender and career choice chi square will be used for example teachers experience low experience media moderate moderate experience and high experience and teacher job satisfaction high low medium and if both have a three three categories then it chi square will be used so number of categories has nothing to do you can may have more than two categories three categories for example if are in this case gender has two categories male and female maybe in the future you are interested to know whether age has any thing to do with the diabetes so you may have one category of the age 20 to 30 years other category is 30 to 40 years other category 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 maybe four categories still in that case you can use chi square it will be called 2 by 4 contingency table in this example it is 2 by 2 contingency table or 2 by 2 chi square test and if you have more than two categories you can use 4 by 4 3 by 4 3 by 6 doesn't matter you can use the same technique same procedure is used so i hope that you understand you got the basic idea of chi square again chi square test is used to find the association between uh, two or more than two categorical variables let me know if you have any questions.